Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, just a really quick one now to show you what is the final for now setup um, in this blush B6 quilted planner. Oh, I love it so much. Um, I've just gone with a bunch of stickers in the pocket. I know I normally do super pretty pockets and I probably will come back to that. But at the moment, I just wanted to put all the stickers I want to use because this is my self-care planner and I kind of need something simple at the moment. Um, I popped all the things I want to keep in here and want to use in here um, just in this section. There's a ton of stuff at the back here. Um, and I went through it all in my last video, so I won't go through it all again. But I've just added some extra bits and pieces in here today. What I wanted to show you mainly is how the dividers have turned out. Um, and it's very simple as well. So this, as I said last time, is one of my photos. Um, just with some extra bits on it. And then I have the gorgeous rose gold foiled words. Inspirational words, if you like. Um, on there. And then we have the monthly section, which I have my uh, fabulous Live, Love & Craft Paper Craft March spread. Then we go into my weekly section, which I've just used these gorgeous shoes from Planner Press. And I've set up my weekly spread. I was going to use the B6, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't and I really want to use this kit. I will use this um, in another spread when I'm not being, you know, I wanted to use this and you can't use these stickers in this paper. It just doesn't work. So um, I really was desperate to use this Empowered Women kit and I wanted to use it for this first week of March. So um, that's what I've done. I've, and I will switch out at another time. So that's my little month uh, weekly spread. You've probably seen this already, I suspect, because I think I was filming. Uh, I'm showing you the other one first. Um, it does have all the weekly pages in here. I'm going to take them out while I'm at it because it's just too many. So uh, unnecessary. All right, then we have the, oh, what is this section? Um, this is going to be my health section. So it's got this uh, also from Planner Press, Let the Weekend Begin page over the divider. And um, then my next section is going to be, oh, I've forgotten already. I really need to write this down. Oh, this is my career section. So at the moment, I just have this cute little uh, tag out of the magazine. I have this piece of vellum that I will just slot into whatever page I'm up to, but I just love this so much. Um, and then I've popped in, separate to last time, I think this a journaling card or B6 card from Pumpkin Paper Co., um, part of her autumn collection from last year. I just think it's beautiful. So I popped it in here. I think it matches really nicely with the colours in this planner. This section here is for um, moments and gratitude. So I thought it was, um, I, I just love this, A, the photo and the um, dots. I think it's really cute. So I just popped that in there as well as this gorgeous vellum from uh, Jesenia's printable. So that's a printable that you can get from her shop. And this section, as I said, is for gratitude and moments. So if you saw my setup video, you know that I popped in this gorgeous lace, paper lace envelope uh, in here to pop, pop in any um, photos or mementos that I want to put in there to keep as well. So um, I think that just looks so lovely in here. Okay, the next section is my inspiration section. So I'm just going to, actually, no, it's not. It's, is it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. There's nothing in it at the moment. It'll either be inspiration or reading because that's what these last two sections are. I just have this card from Breathe Magazine and then this gorgeous vellum, which I think is from the Planner Spot. I think I printed it from the Planner Spot. And then the very last section, which probably will be for reading, uh, I have this acetate from Peanuts Planico, Peanuts Paper Co, Peanuts Planico. <laughs> and then this gorgeous 
um, card from Pumpkin Paper Co. Same as the autumn one earlier. And it says do not enter. It doesn't really fit, I guess, with the whole point of this planner, but I think it's gorgeous. It's B6. Why not put it in here? And then, yeah, I was going to do some reading tracking in the back. So obviously the papers I need to move around eventually when I start using it. Right at the back are the stickers that came with the planner. These um, payday, me time, travel, exercise, party and to do. And then the little icons as well. I've got the page lifter that came with the planner in the back as well. And then I just threw this little journaling card here that I got from Planner Day. One of the girls gave to me. Um, sweet and twinkly 2020, that sounds like me. <laughs> I just uh, washi taped it to this just because I thought it was cute and I didn't quite want to punch it yet. I was going to punch it and pop it in the planner itself, but it may be better suited to a different planner, like maybe to that um, gorgeous hollow planner there or another one. But uh, for the meantime, I've just washed it in there. I just threw in one of my Kiki K pens. Um, it may not be the pen that I end up using in here, but I love those pens, so it may, in fact, be the pen I use. I do have here the ones, oh, that's an Own Your Story one. There's this one that says More Self Love. Um, and then I also have this, this is probably the one I'll use, the Perfectly Imperfect. So um, that could go in there instead. Uh, I just wanted something this morning to take a picture with. So I just threw that one in. So yeah, maybe that one or else maybe a rose gold pen. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to give you a flip through just to show you where we're currently at. Um, I'm really keen to get into this health section because as you know, I'm um, popping in for surgery this week. So I want to kind of put my grid paper in here and set up some trackers and things. So um, I will try and do that tonight or tomorrow night just to have it. But I won't be filming, unfortunately. I just don't have the time. Um, but I will do a flip through once I'm back on deck. And you'll get to see all of that. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks again. Thanks so, so much for watching. And, um, yeah, pop over and visit on Instagram, Desley Jane Plans. Um, there's an underscore, Desley Jane underscore plans. Oh, you probably know that already. Um, I'll leave the, leave the link in the description box as usual. But yeah, pop on over there and say hi if you can. That's where I'll be hanging out for the next couple of weeks. Um, and don't forget, if um, you don't know already, Planner Jam Retreat. We're setting up a retreat for the planner peeps um, here in Melbourne in July. That's what this planner here is for. It's got all the details, all the secret information about the fabulous retreat we're putting together. I cannot wait for you guys to... Uh, hear more about it um, for you to come if you can come it's going to be a fantastic weekend just a getaway for all the people who you know like-minded people getting together is the best thing it's so much fun we had planner day today at Ash's house and it was just so nice to hang out with people who love to do this stuff and you can get crafty if you want to get crafty you can just hang out and chat if you want to hang out and chat it was um, really good fun and that's what we want this weekend to be, just a big version of Planner Day uh, with a bunch of cool stuff thrown in that you'll hear about very soon, such as shops. There'll be some shopping time from some of your favorite shops and also some workshops that you can do to learn some cool new things. And yeah, I'm super excited for those as well. Okay, guys, as I said, that's it for me. I will see you all again super, super soon. Bye, guys.